What's happening and welcome, appreciate your presence on that play button. I am Willie Williams, so equality is something that the baby's been out here talking for a long time. People um, of the vagina descent has been out here talking about that people want equality, want to be treated the same way. And there's a thing they transpire out in the community and stuff like that while people be out like trying to eat hot dogs and get sold and shit. You know, stuff that's unhealthy for you, that's bad for you, but we still indulge in certain Big word. That's what that right there is. We indulge in some things, but um, they say, because <laughs> you damn it, what they say. I'm going to give you the video. I ain't even much going to hold you. Because they say that a player done had done assaulted. They use the assaulted, physically, brutally, deadly, <laughs> some shit, like a deadly weapon. Hell no. The incident has an assault with it. Hell no. Some had no transpire. I'm going to go down and give y'all the video. Hopefully, hopefully this shit play a little, little water more. They knocked off their feet. Wow. <laughs> The two female victims say a man got into an argument with a downtown L.A. hot dog vendor here in the 600 block of Spring Street over a $6 price of a hot dog. Even after one of the vendors offered to give the large man a free hot dog, he wouldn't let up on the other vendor and began getting in his face, according to witnesses. One of those two ladies, who are also customers, said something on the vendor's behalf, like just take the free hot dog and go. And the suspect allegedly attacked her. He's caught on video, as you saw there, Saturday night not only punching the first woman but also her female friend who came to her defense now the broad-built man appears to be over six feet tall and maybe weigh around 250 pounds he brutally punched the five foot tall around 100 pound women before he's seen running off now bystanders looked on as the women were literally knocked to the ground immediately following the attack the women were taken to an emergency room and a police report was filed it's now an assault with a deadly weapon case now the hope of the lapd is that someone will recognize the man seen in the video and give detectives a call meanwhile the victims and their friends are sharing the incident on social media with hopes that someone will identify the man now this all happened in front of a popular bar where witnesses say even the bouncers turned a blind eye. People at a distance say it all happened so quickly. I saw that he ran after. I saw that the two women approached him. I don't really know it was chaotic and I'm sure he ran into one of these many alleys here. Now, the word has spread, of course, among residents who live in the area, shop owners, patrons, and the hope of all is that someone recognizes that man seen in the video and gives LAPD a call. Live in downtown L.A., Narissa Knight, KTLA 5 News. All right. All right. Um... Meantime, the L.A. USD School Board is set to officially vote on the new contract for... Okay, they're going on to get into it because it seems like some people got a problem with the issue that had done transpired. They say a man was caught on camera punching two women in downtown Los Angeles over the weekend. The LAPD are investigating the incident as an assault with a deadly weapon. They call in a man who they they assume to be over six feet and assume to be about 250 pounds. Where in the article they put 200 pounds, but on there they said about 250 pounds so now that considered a deadly weapon because the women was underweight they was like a hundred pounds they assumed that they was a hundred pounds i got churn weigh more than a hundred pounds they look like they weigh a little bit more i'm just gonna go ahead and throw that on out there so now so now if you um close this bitch out here and you weigh or you stand higher then one of these babies out here, that's considered a deadly weapon? Wow. Y'all taking the goddamn shit too far. So now, look, 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 look. Let me tell the babies where they messed up at. Well, let me tell one of the babies where you had them messed up at. <laughs> you got in some other folk out there, Ben. That was wrong with a lot of you, Mr. It, 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 damn it, why didn't you been to tell them, just go ahead and take the money. Hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. So ain't got nothing to do with you. They got them hot dogs, six hot damn dogs. If I go to the grocery store, it's less than that, damn that. Six dollars is a lot to a lot of people. Hell, people weren't even getting their goddamn checks and was having to go take loans because they weren't getting their checks for one week. One week without a check made people go get loans. That's what they were saying out here in the liberal media. So it is what it is. But listen, 
Y'all gonna have to learn to mind your own goddamn business. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, shit you had been struck. Let me let me say this. I don't I don't know if hand, if if and one of you has put hands on him. I I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. But but if y'all didn't push put hands on him, he was not supposed to lay hands on y'all. I'm just gonna go on to say that there because I do believe in the self defense thing, and that's what need to go on to transpire. I don't give a fuck how much you weigh. Listen, don't go to the woods messing with the bear. And if he was over six feet, over uh, uh, assumingly. I don't even know that got that word. But assumably, over 250 goddamn pounds, you need to leave Big Bear alone. That's what I, hell, but y'all found out all y'all that way. He, he, he socked them both in the face, not once, but multiple times, some of which were not caught on film. Well, you shouldn't have talked about it if it wasn't caught. It is what it is, because they ain't say what they did. They, now, I'm not saying they did something. Hell, I'm saying we don't know what the hell they did. It is what it is. But again, if... If they did not place hands on him, he should not place hands on them. Everybody need to keep their hand they got themselves. But as the video continues, the man is seen punching the first girl again, then hits the second girl with a blindsided sucker punch. Why would y'all call a sucker punch when he was just getting this swing on and whoever run up gonna get it? It is what it, both, both y'all together, both y'all gonna get it. I guess that was the mind frame that he was in. Um, and then he ran away. He called out. And uh, kind of rightfully so, if I should say so myself. What, he was going to stand there? <laughs> stand there and do what? <laughs> Get arrested right then? Hell, maybe he had something in his pocket. Maybe he had to go in on to find some more food to go in on to take some goddamn body. Maybe he was home and he knew once he go in on to get put on vacation, get arrested, put them braces on, get an A for him written up. He wasn't going to be out no time soon. He, damn it, he probably had to go deposit the bond money because he knew what the hell finna transpire. So that's probably why he went on head on the left. But I'm hut. I'm confused because you bigger than somebody. Now it's assault with a deadly weapon. I can see if he was a trained MMA fighter. I can see if he was a boxer. The hands will be, um, you got to go down to the courthouse and say that you got weapons that you walk around with every goddamn day. I get it. You got to register them as deadly weapons, illegal, deadly with some weapons or some shit like that. But this, this, this shit going too far because he popped their ass. Which maybe he wasn't supposed to. Now a lot of people gonna say, you don't never hit you. You don't never put your hands on a woman, but we in the day and age of equality. Cause if that was a man, he would have probably typically did that to a man also. For not minding your own goddamn business. Now I know it was probably a line of people probably waiting on the hot dogs and they were like, this shit ain't even much that serious player. You need to go ahead on. I understand. But damn it, when you open this, writing the check that your ass can't cash. Have you ever heard that before? That leave people alone, don't bother people, let people handle their own situation, then maybe you won't be involved in a double, triple knockout on the goddamn street. Now, yeah, he did that wrong, fella. Yeah. Play, you ain't have to hit him like that, goddamn. I, I got to really say, God, I ain't got to hit him like that, but goddamn, if they put hands on you, said some slick. Open hand, never close fist. That's what I want to say, because open hand mean that you love them. Close fist mean which I hate you. Get the hell on from around me. I'm about a hot dog. Bitch, I'm hungry. Probably been drinking and shit, and y'all want to be in, intervening. Big word into something that ain't got nothing to goddamn do with y'all. But they were saying, ain't nobody helped them. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. We equal, remember? We equal on earth, remember? Females and males is equal. So why should anyone have to come to their defense? Hell, they were two against one. So even if he was over 250 and six foot something, they were probably 5'1 to 5'3 or something, and they claimed that they was like 100 pounds. Hell, it's two of them which bring them up to 200 pounds. Close in weight proximity, I should say. Big word. That's what's up. But listen, babies, I, damn it, y'all, just leave people alone. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. This is 2019. Folk laying hands out here on your babies because we trying to help y'all with the equality thing. Stay in your lane. Appreciate y'all for rocking. And somebody arrest him. Put him on vacation because he do need to be sat down just for me. Just because he assaulted someone and we don't know if they touched him first. But if they did not lay hands on him or talking slick. See, a lot of people say, people should be able to say what they want to say. But one thing about males, we know when we say anything that we want to say, it will escalate.
for the most part. So, equality, ladies, I want y'all to know, when you open it, when you're yapping and shit, all in a bit, bit, it can escalate. But y'all go ahead on the pick, buddy, at cinema on vacation or something so you can think about what the hell he had done did out there, but I got him hot dog. Appreciate y'all rocking. Hashtag equality. I'm just trying to. That, that's what y'all want. Y'all want to be equal to a man. All right, cool. Appreciate y'all for rocking.